Georgian troops will soon be in Afghanistan as part of NATO's Resolute Support Mission. Georgia is the second highest troop contributing nation after the US. Georgians have been fighting and dying with the coalition for years now in Iraq and Afghanistan and uh, they have made a very clear commitment to move closer to NATO and closer to Euro-Atlantic integration and I think it's the very least that we can do. It's kind of a moral obligation to help them in that decision. With two of their sovereign territories under foreign occupation and an increasing threat from the south, the security situation in Georgia and the region is unstable. Georgia is not a member of any alliance. That is why we need to rely on ourselves first. For this purpose, we need the support from allies in providing Georgia with the tools to defend ourselves. Georgia might not be a member of NATO, but NATO is investing in projects to help Georgia improve its defensive capability. The substantial NATO Georgia package, or SNGP, contains 13 projects. Some tackle areas such as cyber defense and strategic communication, while another, the Defense Institution Building School, provides development training within the security sector. But in terms of practical skills on the battlefield, the Joint Training and Evaluation Center, or JTEC, is perhaps the most tangible. What we see here is the simulation training center a part of the JTAC. Basically, staff versus computer. Everything they do here, it leads back to a command post where they have to take decisions based on the action taken here in the simulation training. But computer simulated exercises are not the JTAC's only function. At Camp Norio, an all-terrain military training facility near Tbilisi that also forms part of the JTAC, Georgian soldiers react to an ambush. This is the area which perfectly suits all possible military operations can happen in Georgia. But what makes it really unique is that we can offer the training to other countries, NATO countries and partners as well, and that we can tailor all kinds of different training for their needs. The idea behind the SNGP is to arm Georgia with the practical tools it needs to defend itself against potential threats. But it is also a mutually beneficial partnership, reinforcing NATO-Georgia relations and strengthening security in the region. SNGP is the full picture of what is it that Georgia needs in order to become a compatible state to NATO countries, to become more advanced in its defence capabilities, to become closer to NATO. This is Jake Tutman from Georgia for NATO Channel.